Back in early March, Heaven Hill Distillery announced the release of Heaven Hill Heritage Collection 17-year-old barrel-proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. The first edition of the new Heaven Hill Heritage Collection celebrating the distillery's exacting maturation standards. That means each spring, this annual highly limited release will feature some of the distillery's oldest inventory of aging whiskey that we get to chase as long as their older barrels are deemed worthy of bottling. Is it worthy of the $275 price tag? I can't wait to find out on the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from the Mastin' and Drum, and today we are reviewing the first release of the Heaven Hill Heritage Collection that will be released annually each spring. The collection will feature one of the six traditional American whiskey mash bills produced by Heaven Hill. Before we get into what makes up this bottle of liquid darkness, take a closer look. So as I mentioned, the collection and its future releases will feature one of six Heaven Hill mash bills. The first edition, this one right here, features Heaven Hill's bourbon mash bill comprised of 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley, and bottled at barrel proof 118.2. With a nice big old age statement of 17 years, this release is made up of 28% 20-year-old barrels, 44% 19-year-old barrels, and 28% 17-year-old barrels, pulled from Dietzville, Glencoe, Shenley, and Heaven Hill main campus warehouse locations. Now, Heaven Hill Heritage Collection joins the more experimental series, the Parker's Heritage Collection, to form the full Heritage Collection collectively. Now, releases from both collections offer a glimpse into the long-term plan across Heaven Hill's American whiskey stock and commitment to quality, craft, and innovation. So as you saw in the close-ups, each Heaven Hill Heritage Collection comes in this signature Heaven Hill blue box with the uh, beautiful double H insignia stamped in gold to signify Heaven Hill. What I really love though is the details of warehouse site locations, production dates, mash bill percentages. I mean, come on, between the box, the cool way the box opens, all the details in the bottle, 17 year age statement, barrel proof, non-chill filtered. If a bourbon could be designed by a bourbon geek, <laughs> Here it is. All right, so Heaven Hill Heritage Collection 17-year-old barrel-proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey has launched nationally on a limited basis with an MSRP of $275, mash bill of 78 corn, 12% malted barley, 10% rye, 118.2 proof. Let's dive in. Here we go. I could already smell it, actually. Yeah, this has that, like, old funky Rick House oak smell. Actually reminds me a little bit of some of the old Elijah Craig pirate bottle, like the Elijah Craig barrel proof bottles. And then you get some funky cherry on here. There's definitely like this molasses, you know, syrupy, dark, almost like you ever go into a warehouse and you see like that angel share leaking out of the, uh, out of the barrel. And it's like that black syrupy stuff just coming out and you, Part of you wants to lick it, but you know it's not gonna taste very good. I feel like that's what that smells like <laughs> right here in the glass. Yeah, awesome smell. I mean, a lot of vanilla extract. 
Man, that cherry. And you get, you know, you get that like Heaven Hill signature nuttiness, but it's a very sweet nuttiness. Like, you know, I think I'm getting like pecan pie, maybe a little bit of, maybe it's like some of those cinnamon, uh, those cinnamon covered nuts that you get at like a fair or something like that, that you can kind of smell throughout. Like, you, you know, when you're getting close to those cinnamon glazed nuts, when you're at a, you know, a fair or a carnival or something like that. Yeah, and kind of like a dark, like a black cherry type note to it. So far, the nose is fantastic. I mean, the nose, this is like what you would want in a high age. The, it doesn't overdo it with the oak, at least on the nose. Let's try it on the palate. Cannot wait. Uh, before we take a sip, I want to thank uh, my buddy for sending me this bottle. This is not mine. Um, this was kind of donated for me to do a review. So I want to say a big thank you to one of my uh, great viewers. So cheers. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, first sip. Ooh, nice finish so far. But again, this is my first sip of the day, so the first sip is going to be pretty intense. I'm not going to judge it on our first sip quite yet. I like to take a few sips, as you guys know. But all that stuff I was getting on the nose, kind of like the dark cherry, a little bit of the molasses type note to it. The oak, the rich, like sweet angel sherry type of oak, that, that stuff that's leaking out of the barrel, all just kind of enveloping the palate. A lot of vanilla too, like deep, rich vanilla extract. Again, you get the oak and you get some of that like pecan nuttiness and that cinnamon nuttiness that's on, uh, that, that I was getting on the nose too, on the palate. Let's see if it measures up on the second sip. Here we go. Man, the... I feel like the magical part of this bourbon right now is the finish. The finish with that sweet oak, a little bit of dark cherry, cinnamon, molasses sweetness is all like hitting me from the mid palate back where it's lacking for me a little bit. Well, let me take another sip here. Yeah, this is good for me. It's I'm getting the tingliness now on the front of the palate. The proof is definitely kicking in. Little bit of black pepper there. The more sips I take of this, the more black cherry I'm getting, and I'm loving it. I love black cherry like that. It's not that overly sweet Luxardo cherry syrup. It's more like a cherry Garcia type ice cream thing with heavy vanilla, a lot of black cherry, that, that cinnamon spice kind of kicking in as well. The Heaven Hill nuttiness starts, I think, to come to the forefront the more you sip it. And that is in no way a bad thing. Honestly, with that dark cherry note and the oak, it reminds me of a, of a, like a, a higher proof Eagle Rare 17. Now, the only bottle of Eagle Rare 17 I had was like from three years ago, so I don't have that bottle anymore. I was a little disappointed in that one, especially on the finish. This one is bringing way more of a finish. I'm getting that dark cherry note. I love the syrupiness of this. I honestly think that Heaven Hill brought this out. I think it it, it goes, I think was a, was a, like a pure, just, I'm calling out BTAC. You know, this, this is, I think this bottle's meant to go head to head with BTAC. Heaven Hill putting their, putting their cards on the table saying that Buffalo Trace isn't the only distillery that could put out some ultra aged, super sweet, really good sipping bourbon. And I think, you know, I mean, you could look at Elijah Craig 18 and 23, but those aren't even in the same class as this, you know, in my opinion, that stuff's great, but it's so watered down that you lose a lot of the nuance and the oak and a lot of that stuff that's, that you look for in an ultra aged bourbon. This keeps it and it doesn't overdo it. I think the mix of barrels and ages is very well done. It's really good. I'll say this though. This isn't a punch you in the face type of bourbon. Remember, you're only looking at 118.2 proof and why that may seem high to some people. If you're used to drinking Elijah Craig barrel proof, remember that's a 12 year compared to a 17 year, but you also have 20 year and 19 year barrels in this mix. So much older age whiskey, a little bit more time to round out those flavors. 
You know, I'm impressed with this one. You know why? Because, you know, most bourbons, and even for me, like Elijah Craig, I don't tend to like past 12 years old. So a 17 year, you know, had me scared, but I think them blending some of these barrels together, different ages, really kind of rounded it out. I think they did a great job here. So that, so the, the only thing I worry about with this bottle is the more you sip it, more the nuttiness comes through, more of the, I don't want to say it gets less interesting, but it just becomes more of an easy sipper than I want it to become. I want it to keep that flavor that I got in the first two or three sips. I think consistency with this one is probably where it's lacking. I think the more you sip it, the less it becomes, you know, impactful. I think it just mellows out a little bit too much. And, you know, a lot of people like that. That's, you know, that's your palate. You know, but I want to I want to feel that consistency and that that pop of flavor every single time I sip this one last sip here. Man, that black cherry, I cannot get over the black cherry. It's just it's so there and I'm, I'm digging it. I love black cherry. So love that that flavor is there. I think just depending on your palate, I feel like you might pick up more nuttiness than than other people it really depends on how your palate takes to this one it's I, i'm not going to say it's over oaked i don't think it is i think the blend actually really rounds out the flavors this one is really good but before we get into the final breakdown let's talk about our new sponsor on the master drum caldera lab caldera lab creates high performance men's self-care products by combining pharmaceutical grade science nature's purest and most potent ingredients, and sustainable business practices. Today we're talking about Caldera Labs' best-selling product. It's called The Good, and it's their award-winning multifunctional serum that's been pretty much breaking the internet. Now for me personally, my skin dries out pretty quick, but since I started using this for about a month, my skin feels smoother, less dry, looks better on camera, and I've even gotten compliments on how good my skin looks from my girlfriend who is very, very focused on skincare herself and wanted to use it. It's actually a really easy way for guys like me to take care of their skin in one easy step. Like I said, this was designed to help address wrinkles, fine lines, uneven skin tone with clinically proven results. GQ Magazine just named it the best natural face serum for men and they have teamed up with NFL legend Tony Gonzalez, that's right, former tight end of my favorite team, the Atlanta Falcons. The good multifunctional serum is made from 27 active plant botanicals infused over four weeks using a patented process, which took over two years to develop. All you have to do is use this dropper that's built into this slick looking bottle, put a few drops in your hand, and then put it on your neck and on your face right before bedtime, that's it. Literally brush your teeth, floss, wash your face, then dry your face, and then use this, and that's it. Typically results, they say, come in about 60 days, but I already noticed a big difference in just 30 days. So not only is this helping me look and feel better and feel more confident. Caldera Lab is a company I feel good about supporting. All their products are sustainably sourced and packaged and cruelty free, and they've earned the prestigious B Corp certification. On top of that, they also donate 2% of all their revenue to vetted nonprofit organizations. Everything Caldera Lab makes is 100% non-toxic, vegan, dermatologically tested, and clinically proven to work for all skin types. So if you guys are interested in your skin looking and feeling better, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code MASHINDRUM for 20% off at checkout. Again, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code MASHINDRUM for 20% off at checkout. Another great thing is that there's no risk in trying this, guys. Every purchase is backed by Caldera Labs 100% money back guarantee. Try it for 60 days. If you don't love it, then you can get a 100% refund, no questions asked. So give it a try, your face will thank you later. All right, final breakdown time. 275 bucks is the retail price on this one. Secondary market value. Guys could not wait to get this on secondary as soon as they got it from Heaven Hill, which, you know, I can't stand that shit. Um, I think the highest I saw it was a little over two grand. I think prices have come down a little bit. Right now, secondary market value, I'm seeing this about 1,400 to 1,800, about in that range. Some bottles still going for about two grand though. Availability, let's say together, limited. All right, value for this one, if we're talking retail, we're talking, let's just call it 300 bucks. At 300 bucks, 17 year, barrel proof, all the information, the box, 
I'm just gonna say it's even. I, I don't mind paying 275 to 300 for this bottle in today's market. All right, so the most I pay for this, I'm gonna go in with the mindset that I'm not gonna find this at retail. So what's the most I'm gonna pay for this one? Is it gonna be retail? Will I only pay retail for this one? So 275 is retail. I probably would go up to 350 for this bottle. Um, just based on the barrel proof, the mix of ages alone, Heaven Hill, it's one of the best distilleries on the planet. I would go up to 350 on this one, but I'm not going higher than that. And that's only because as you sip this one, it's really good, but it definitely mellows as you keep sipping it. It gets a little bit, it's not as consistent as I would want it to be like a King of Kentucky or a bourbon like that. All right, is this a recommend? I mean, hell yeah, it's really, really good. Just, just keep this in mind. This bourbon, and I've already seen people saying it's like a pappy killer. It, I wouldn't, there's a lot of bourbons that kill pappy. So let's not, let's not mix that up. I think what you have to do is put this bourbon against like King of Kentucky and some BTAC, you know, George T. Stagg. How does this stack up? I think this bourbon is in the mix as far as high quality. I don't think it's as flavorful as King of Kentucky consistently. And I don't think it's as punch you in the face as George T. Stagg. I think it's a little bit mellower. I think the Heaven Hill nuttiness comes through a little bit the more you keep sipping it. But it's a damn good bourbon. If you can't find it and you can't pay the money for it, the upcharges, just look for it you know, in a bar or maybe a friend of yours got it. But don't pay the outlandish price for this one. It's really, really good. I would say it's great. It's a great, fantastic bourbon. But it doesn't blow me away. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review for the brand new Heaven Hill Heritage Collection 17-year barrel proof, their first release in the new Heritage Collection series. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you're one of the lucky few to get this bottle, if you're in the market, if you're looking to buy this one. Again, big shout out to my, uh, to my buddy for sending me this so I can get a review out there. Really appreciate it. I don't think I'll be able to, I don't think I'll get lucky enough to find this one. But if I do, like I said, uh, it's, it's definitely one that I think anyone that gets it will absolutely love it. It's a really delicious bourbon. So cheers. I'll see you right here next time for another great review on the Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.